simulation system uh, by combining virtual and augmented reality. Um, it's basically a web-based 3D interactive learning environment for teaching hydrological <coughs> processes and concepts. It's a simulation system for teaching uh, students the hand flooding, uh, which was based on a preliminary, preliminary work from the Google Summer of Code, so this was developed around 2014. And basically, you have uh, all these sort of tasks that you do. For instance, you have flooding. You have ready, they used data from the rain to estimate how much water would collect and how much chance it was for it to uh, flood, and how to like then handle the flooding when using uh, them and such to like avoid it flooding away. And they used then three different visualization models. The virtual reality mode, which is basically a 3D, three dimensional visualization of the simulation system on screen, uh, where the users just interact by using keyboard and mouse. Uh, but you could also interact with by using smartphone or tablet. Uh, the augmented reality mode, which is based on using a camera, uh, where you locate the trackers of a physical desktop. Uh, and you use the overlay on a marker, as you can see here. So here is like how it looks virtually, and this is what it looks like when you project it on the um, on the board or like on the marker here. Um, and you would also need a so you have a, like a, you have a camera, and then you like aim it at, at the marker, and then you get this map visualized. And um, the last part is the immersive reality mode, which is based on where you actually walk into the virtual environment itself. And um, yeah, uh, it's also they also optimize the platform for using it on Android and iOS, but. Uh, as far as I could understand, it's published. Also, this is also this is published within the Iowa school. So I don't think this is. Uh, they didn't have any experiment. They didn't have any test data. So I guess this is more a documentation of a plausible system that can be used to teach students mm. in an education system. But it's, they don't have like any documentation that this system works or. Students have tested this and given feedback. It's more like we have created this system. We think it can be used. So it's well, yeah. It's, it seems to me more of a theoretical than an actual system to take to be used. And yeah, on the last two slide, I just have the sources. Mm -hmm. so, so with this system, they have built it and then run it for the courses. Well, you know what? What was their methodology? How, how they went about? From from what I understood, they just have read about augmented reality, and it, they seemed like okay, this was something we can visualize for the students mm -hmm. to engage in, and they write that the students were more engaged, and they liked using this system. But I don't see like they don't have any statistical data, or they, it's just the, the students, and that's it. So I'm not sure like if this was just like a system they developed and tested on a class for one or two weeks or if it was actually used in a mm -hmm. full course or because they don't have anything there's no research no yes no it's just explanation it's just yeah. a description there's yes no actual data yeah with success rate so and they haven't measured anything either right so it, it's sort of like a technical documentation of the proposed system of how it works and what it does but no research questions and no research done. Yeah, it was more for me. It was more of an interesting concept because it like overlaps between the courses, and even though it's perhaps just a theoretical suggestion, it's still interesting to see how they can take something somewhat like. For me, it seems kind of boring, like geological data and rain and flood, and actually create a system that can potentially engage students into being more. Mm -hmm. Like understanding because you can actually literally see a simulation and you could, uh, from what I understood, enter data and such. So I think it's like it's an interesting concept, but if it would work, 
even on a larger scale, but uh, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And what advantages would it have compared to simulations on the computer screen, for example? Uh, well, I'm not sure how exactly they look when you enter the virtual world, but uh, because they had like uh, one image, and but it was pretty bad because you have like half the image was just a guy surrounding the dark office, so it's they had like you saw this much in the mm -hmm. virtual world. But I guess it's like, for instance, if you take this example where you can see it on the table, uh, you can like, uh, it's more. I don't know, I, will, I would say like one thing you see on the screen, it's flat, but if you have it on the table, you can have like four people can stand around it, have mm -hmm. equal much, uh, see equally much, and you can just play with the data and see how it goes up and down and like bloods, mm -hmm. etc. So I think it's more the fun fact uh, yep. that you get from like seeing it more physically, mm -hmm. although in a uh, miniature format it's like, yeah. Yep. Okay, any comments on the second paper? So it's more of a technical report than a research paper. The first one was more of a research paper because it had the experiments and the collection of the data and yeah, some of the research questions posted post. Um, yep. Okay, thank you very much.